Hello and welcome to the Pythagoras video series. This is video one, Pythagoras' Theorem. Pythagoras' Theorem works on right angled triangles. And here's a right angled triangle. The longest side of a right angled triangle is known as the hypotenuse. And Pythagoras' Theorem states that for any right angled triangle, the square on the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Let's have a look how that plays out in an actual triangle. So the C there is on the hypotenuse. So C squared will equal A squared plus B squared. We are sometimes asked to write the Pythagoras' theorem for various triangles. In this one, you'll notice the m is on the hypotenuse, so we'll start with that. m squared equals n squared plus p squared. Now in this triangle, we don't have any of the little letters that indicate the sides, but we do have the points at the uh, corners of the triangles, on the vertices of the triangles. So, we can name the sides from that. Now the hypotenuse, I think you can see, we could call PR or RP. So we'll start with that. PR squared equals PQ squared plus RQ squared. In this one we have actual numbers. So the 10 is in on the hypotenuse. And so 10 squared will equal 8 squared plus 6 squared. So that's a Pythagoras result. It illustrates Pythagoras' theorem. And that's the end of that video. We'll see you next time for some more applications of Pythagoras' theorem.